my name is Kathleen Bell and I am one of the voice teachers at Shepherd University and today I would like to talk to you all about breath management. Sometimes when referring to this we use the Italian word appoggio which means to lean and but it's a very confusing concept because you're like what am I leaning on and so how I like to think of it is that when I take that big expansive breath I am leaning into sound. I'm engaging and energizing my body to more efficiently deal with my exhalation. So when, how do I do that? What muscles are engaged? And so what we're going to talk about is contrary to inspiration, which involves primarily the diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles. This is going to involve the internal intercostal muscles and the abdominal muscles predominantly. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that contracts down. Again, like I said, it's a muscle of inspiration. And so it acts as a barrier, but it's not really actively engaged in breath management. What is engaged are the abdominal muscles. Most particularly, I'm concerned with the external oblique muscles, which go from this my center of my body right around the belly button, and then in a diagonal loop up. So when I take that deep breath, my diaphragm descends, my external intercostal muscles contract and pull up the rib cage. If I want to support or lean, into the sound, I'm going to do a little contraction here and engage my external oblique muscles to support or anchor my rib cage to stay in place so that it doesn't um, naturally recoil or naturally um, go back in. So what does that do to the sound? When I breathe, if I immediately were to sing, it would be breath, ah, ah, and it's kind of breathy. But if I engage these muscles and anchor my rib cage, ah, then the sound is much more stable. Let me demonstrate both ways. So I breathe, ah, at the second half, I engage the muscles. Okay. So another way that you can help your choirs to figure out how to do this is by using a straw and a bottle of water. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to stick it about five centimeters into the bottle of water and you're going to blow. You're going to take When you do that, you can actively feel the engagement of your abdominal muscles. If I sing at the same time, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but let's see what changes with the bubbles. Now, if I am releasing too much air, so we're gonna get a volcano of bubbles. <laughs> As you see, I got liquid all over my shirt. And that's probably, other than making your kids laugh, um, probably not the best way to manage something. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the bottle of water as a guide with your students to see um, how they are managing their breath. And you can do this on glides, you can do this with um, the different vocal exercises, but say I did glides, Again, if I get a volcano of water, then I've actually let too much flow out. And as you see, if I don't send enough water, I mean enough breath, then I won't get any bubbles at all. So if say I had bad flow, let me demonstrate that. Not terrible, let me try singing. It's okay much more solid. 
So I hope that is helpful and not just hilarious. And I hope you will consider bringing um, your students to Shepherd University and take, um, checking out our wonderful faculty and offerings um, and all the best to you.